writing to files in Python is very similar to the way that we just read them. Step one is to create a variable with the file name that we want to write to, just like we did when reading a file. Step two is to use the open function, but we have different mode options this time. If we want to write to a file, we can use w as the second parameter for write mode. This will overwrite the file if it already exists. If we want to add on top of the end of an existing file, we can use a for append mode. Here are the three different modes we've looked at so far for reference, read, write, and append. Once we've opened the file and stored it in a variable like out file, we can use built-in methods in the same way that we did with reading files. The write method will write a string to the file. Sometimes you might even read a file in as a string, change the text, and then write it back to the same file or a different one. One example of this might be a patient's hospital chart. A doctor's app might read the file text, change part of the patient's data, say their heart rate, and then write the text back to the file. The write lines method will write a list of strings to the file line by line. You also need to close files when you're done writing them, but it's getting a little bit tedious to open and close each file each time. You might also be using complicated logic in your program and not know when you're done with the file. Python lets us take a shortcut when opening and closing files by using the with keyword. The with keyword is followed by the same open function you were using before, but now we follow it with the as keyword and the variable name to store your open file object. Then you can put all of the code to read or write to your file in the block below. Let's try this out in the code editor. Here we have a file containing the patient numbers for patients that have visited a hospital today. When a new patient comes in, we can open the file using the with keyword and in append mode to add a new patient to the log. Now, if we look at our file, we can see that we've added patient 42. Use the next exercise to try out all the different combinations of reading and writing to files in Python.